another lucky time to get the best discounts for our portable power stations from Blatty as well as get your giveaways. Yes guys, as always, this time we also have giveaways and we're launching some special discounts that are only available, that are only valid during the live stream. So if you're ready guys, let me know you're here, type one in the comments if you can hear me, if you can see me clearly, if you are ready for the discounts, if you're ready to learn more about our portable power stations and if you are ready to participate in our giveaways, okay? Again, how to take part in our giveaways, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is just follow us, give us a like or multiple likes and share with your friends and be active in the comments, okay? Be active in the comments and you will be, you know, taking part in our giveaway and maybe you get lucky and you get our giveaways. And also, most importantly, during this two-hour live stream, we launched some special discounts exclusive that are only valid during the live stream and they are only for our followers on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. So make sure, guys, that you actually click that follow button. Here are our social medias, uh, Instagram, bloody underscore official, Facebook, Blady Global, YouTube, Blady Global, and Blady Support, and also um, other platforms like Twitter and TikTok. So guys, let's get started. Let's kick things off with a short intro of the company. So Blueti is, you know, all about portable power stations, solar panels, and is dedicated to making this world a better place by switching to green energy. All of our portable power stations are eco-friendly. They are completely gas-free. They are very cost-effective. They are quiet and they are uh, relatively lightweight. And, you know, as I said, very cost-effective not even to take into account our discounts for a day. With our discounts for a day, guys, they're gonna be absolutely fantastic in terms of price and of course in terms of quality. So let's get started from the smallest one in our collection is EB3A. And we were thinking it would be a good idea to do a little unboxing, you know, because when you receive it, it will arrive in a box. So what do you actually have in a box? So we will do, um, you know, a quick unboxing of EB3A. Okay, so let's go for it. So here's the box, it's all nice and white. Let's open it up like this. Okay, it's packed tightly. We have to actually make some effort open it up. Okay, there we go. Now on the top we have this uh, user manual. Okay, user manual on the top. And here we have the warranty because yes, no matter what portable power station or solar panel or any cord, wire you purchase from us, you will have a warranty and the warranty is absolutely fantastic because it allows you to, you know, have a hassle-free purchase and absolutely worry not about, um, you know, after sale service. Okay, so here is the protective layer we want to remove because it protects our EB3A during transportation. And here we have our EB3A itself, guys. It is really lightweight. It's in fact only 10.14 pounds and it's um, quite of a compact size, I should say. So the length is only 10 inches, the width is 7.1 inches, and the height is 7.2 inches. And again, the weight is only 10.14 pounds. So uh, what cords do we have in the box? It's a good question, right? So speaking about the cords, the wires, we have a couple of cords. So this one is to charge your EB3 from your solar panels from photovoltaics. So you just plug this side into the EB3A and then this one you connect it to the solar panels. The solar panels will already have this quartz, at least ours will do. We will talk about our solar panels later. And this is an AC charting cable. And now there is no adapter because we do not need an adapter. The adapter is already there, okay? It's built in, the transformer or the adapter, however you call it. So we just plug it in this way and that's it. And you can charge it just like this from your wall outlet or from another portable power station. And you don't need an adapter, the adapter is already inside, okay? So we have an AC charging cable and a PV charging cable from, for our solar panels. 
This is in terms of what we have in the box. Um, now let's talk about AB3A, guys, because it looks so small, so what can it deliver to us? So despite of looking so small, it actually has a massive capacity of 268 watts hour, and it has 600 watts AC pure Saint wave inverter, and 1,200 watts of surge. Speaking about the chemistry, the battery inside, as you probably have already guessed, this is lithium iron phosphate battery, Life PO4, uh, one of the most, if not the most durable batteries, the most popular definitely on the market right now because of its, um, in, you know, because of this lifespan, it has 2,500 plus life cycles. And after 2,500 plus recharges, the battery capacity will drop down to 80% of the original capacity. It's small, but it has nine different outputs for multiple devices, both AC and DC, and DC including this wireless charging pad on the top, which is rated at 15 watts. And we'll talk about uh, AC and DC outputs just in a little bit, okay? So it also has a nice carrying handle. It allows you to carry it around easily. Maybe you go on the beach with your friends and you need to charge your phones from a power bank, but you could also, you know, just grab our EB3A because it's really lightweight and the massive capacity allows you to charge your phones multiple times, your phones and laptops, you will never run out of power and you will be the most popular guy um, in, a, on a par in a party. You know, everybody will be like, oh, you're this guy with this portable power station, can I use it real quick? So yeah, guys, this is in terms of EB3A, in terms of its portability and capacity. Now let's talk about the outputs, okay? Because the outputs are fantastic. Okay, uh, let me place in the center. So it all starts with number one, which is a car output okay so this is a cigarette lighter car charging port 12 volts 10 amps um, so 120 watts okay so it's right here for your electric fridges for uh, some fans for some other devices whatever using with the car charging port it's an output so you can just plug any device that fits in and I mean it's 12 volts and 10 amps okay keep this in mind we have it right here so okay here we have um, two 12 volts and 10 amps ports, okay? So this one is uh, for like Wi-Fi routers, for TV uh, routers, etc. Okay, um, now here's the input. So we won't be talking about input yet. We will talk about USB type A, five volts and three amps. So this is for your Android phones, for some fans, for LED lights, okay? Just like normal USB A. And here we have USB type C port, okay? So USB type C port is really cool because it supports fast charting. As you guys can probably see or not, it says 100 watts. So it's very fast charting, 100 watts. So you'll be able to charge your MacBook or any other device that uses USB type C real quick, which is really cool. Okay, so now here we have the output 120 volts and this AC, of course, it just looks the same as our wall outlet, right? So we can just plug it in here whatever it is, if it's under 600 watts, we can handle it. And the surge is double of it, 1,200. The surge is important because, you know, when you plug any device in, it will experience a spike, the highest wattage. So if it cannot survive the spike, uh, it cannot survive, it cannot charge or run this device. So even though the AC <clears throat> here is rated at 600 watts, but the spike is 1,200 watts. So you can handle some blenders, you can handle like coffee makers and other things. And we'll talk about this later. Okay, and on the top guys, we have this wireless charting output, wireless charting pad for um, our phones. Newer phones all support wireless charting. So just place it in the center and enjoy, you know, uh, absolutely cordless charting. It is fantastic because you don't have to worry about anything, just put it on the top. And don't forget to turn DC on, actually, and then there you go. Okay, guys, speaking about turning it on, um, when you plug device in, or before you plug device in, if you want to actually start using your DC or your AC outlets, okay, you want to turn them on. So this is very important. For example, we want to plug something in our USB-A port, let's say, right? So we're turning this on. And as you guys can see, the screen lights up. And speaking about the screen, the screen is actually pretty cool. You know, you don't have this, you don't have all the information on it, but you have the most important information and it's very user-friendly. 
Specifically, what we have here. So we have the battery life, okay? So this is a, the precise battery life. Right now it's 75%. And please take a look at this screenshot we took for you just before the live stream um, of the screen itself, because you can see, you know, how it look, what it looks like maybe uh, better. So right now, guys, I'm showing you the screen of this particular AV3A. It's the same as in the picture. So 75%, we have the exact percentage, and not only that, but also we have the you know estimate time of how much time left if we keep using it the way we're using it right now. So right now we haven't loaded it yet, so we have 30 hours left, okay? If we plug something in and it starts drawing energy, we'll see the time will change, okay? Now here we can see the input and the output. So the input is when you're charging your EB3A, when you charging this thing uh, from your wall outlet, from your car power socket, or from your solar panels, okay? You will see the input, how many watts are coming in. Here's the input, okay? All right, so, and when you give energy from this portable power station to other devices, in other words, when you're charging your devices from EB3A, you will see the output, okay? So the output, so the maximum output would be like 600 watts. Uh, for AC. And here we can see the frequency. It's standard 60 hertz, but in fact, most countries use 50 hertz, but in America it's 60 hertz. And we can also see an eco mode. So eco mode is there to save the battery. Eco mode will automatically shut down all the AC loads after four hours of no load or very low load and um, DC will not be affected. So if you want to turn it off, you will be able to turn it off and I'll tell you how to do it later. But this eco mode is there to save your battery because battery really matters. You know, you want to save as much as possible. Now you can see it here guys, but you can see it on the screen in the picture, we have some other signs. So when it's connected to when it's uh, in the turbo charging mode, you know, turbo ch charging is fast charging, um, enables to charge and to get 430 watts of input, you will be able to see like a lightning here, you know, a small lightning here. Uh, when it's low battery, you will, see, you will be able to see the low battery sign, okay? And um, when it's a uh, temperature anomaly, you will see the temperature anomaly here. The same goes for short circuit, for overload and other um, alerts. So, also because EB3A supports uh, UPS, okay, it's your 24-7 UPS, uh, you will be able to see like UPS mode here, when a UPS is on, and uh, you also will be able to see when AC and DC is on. For example, right now I turn on AC and DC, and you guys can see AC and DC here, okay? So when it's turning AC off right now, Okay, oh, I turned off the whole thing, but um, let me try one more time. So AC is on right now, right? And right now it's off. Same goes for DC. DC is on right now and off, okay. So uh, this is pretty much it. Mm, this is like the most important information you have to know from the screen. The screen is here. I know guys, you wish the screen uh, would stay off, uh, would stay on um, longer. Uh, but, but it's done the, the way it's done because we want to save as much energy, as much battery as possible because, because it's so simple to use EB3A and it's suitable for all devices. So you, want to, so you want to use it as much as possible, okay? And you want to save battery really because when using it outdoors, you know, every, like each percent of the battery matters. Okay, speaking about the battery. So after we give energy to our devices and we charge our phones and laptops and cameras and drone batteries and whatnot, right? We want to recharge this thing. How do we recharge this thing? So there are three ways to do it, okay? Number one is normal, is AC outlet. So if you have an AC outlet if you're home, you can just plug it in there, okay? Charging perfectly. You will get 200 watts maximum input. And again, speaking about input, you will be able to see it here on the screen, uh, input here. Anyway, so you can also recharge with solar panels, guys. All of our portable power stations, all of them, they can be recharged with solar panels, okay? So for solar panels, you'll be able to get 200 watts maximum 
And for AC, by the way, uh, it's 350 watts even, the maximum, okay. And for solar and AC input, you will get 430 watts maximum input under turbo mode. So in terms of time, if you're charged with your AC plus solar simultaneously on a good day, on a shiny day, you'll be able to recharge EB3 from zero, let's say, or near zero to 80% just within 1.1 hours, okay? If you're charged from your AC, uh, from your AC outlet, or from, from generator, from another generator, you will be able to recharge it from 1.3 to one and a half hours. If you're charged from your solar panels, okay, on a good day with a relatively good ambient temperature, uh, if you can place your solar panels at the ideal angle for the sun, you know, and everything is good, um, sun is shining actually, so you'll be able to recharge it real fast because you'll be able to get maximum 200 watts. Um, I would say you probably would never get 200 watts, but very close to 100 watts on a good day. So one more option to recharge it. You know, it's awesome because when you're outdoors and you don't have AC outlets, you don't have any generators, you don't have uh, maybe even a car power socket because it only works when the car is on the go or the car is working at least. So in this case, you know, uh, solar batteries are real solar panels are really really a good option okay so guys right now as i promised we launched this special prize that is only available during our live stream so please waste no time and use it right now so for eb3a the original price guys as you can see is 249 dollars okay and the discounted price right now is shocking whooping 209 dollars it's the lowest price Ever. The link is in the comments on YouTube or on Facebook. Please click that link and purchase EB3A at the lowest price ever. $249 becomes only $209, just like this, guys. But again, all of the prices are valid only during the live stream, so please be very, very quick. EB3A, it looks small, but what can it do? What can it deliver? How can it charge or run our devices? Let's look at some data we prepared for you in advance. So let's say you have an iPhone 13. So the latest iPhone, not certain. So you'll be able to recharge your iPhone 13 from 12 to 17 times, from zero to 100%. And just for the record, iPhone 13 is around 13 watts hour, right? So MacBook, if you charge your MacBook from this Type-C 100 watts USB port, you will be able to give your MacBook five to six full charges. And as you guys know, MacBook is 49.9 watts hour. If you're taking pictures outdoors uh, with a drone or videos, right? And you want to recharge your drone battery. And by the way, we brought drone battery to the studio today you'll be able to give your 43 watts hour drone battery five to six full charges. If you recharge your camera, um, that is 16.4 watts hour, you will be able to recharge your camera from 10 to 15 times. Again, very handy for those photographers and video makers, you know, maybe YouTubers or other influencers who want to shoot and take videos outdoors and they're looking for some ways to recharge the cameras. EB3A is really a good option, again, 10 to 15 times. However, this is when you're only using your camera alone. You probably most likely will be also want to use your MacBook, your phone, your drone battery. So of course, you know, you won't be able to give as many charges, but still guys, it's a good number. Now, what if you give it to your dad or to your grandpa, or maybe you working outdoors with power tools, right? So in this case, if your power tools are 80 watts, you will be able to run your power tools for two and a half to three hours. So forget about those cords, you know, and I remember when we were fixing something with my dad, he would always be looking for like long cables or, you know, the ways to find power AC outlets. Now with this EB3A or any other portable power station of ours, guys, you will forget about this inconvenience because you can just plug in your electric tools and use it from our portable power station and run them for two and a half to three hours. If you plug a refrigerator that is 90 watts, you will be able to run your fridge for two to 2.5 to two and a half hours. If you run your, let's say, laptop, um, again, big laptop, 60 watts hour, okay, more than MacBook, by um, 10, 10 more watts than MacBook, you'll be able to charge it four times 
if you're running, let's say, a TV, maybe you want to watch TV outdoors, you know, when there is no AC outlets, you can run your TV for three hours, take it into account your TV is 80 watts. Um, if you're running a mini fridge that is like 60 watts, you will be able to run it for four hours. And finally, if you're on a romantic um, date, probably with your girlfriend or boyfriend and you want some LED lights, you will be able to run your LED lights that are around 10 watts for 22 hours. That's quite a long date, right guys? So this is some data, I think it's interesting. And right now we actually wanna plug some devices in and test how it actually works, okay? So let's do it. Just for the sake of showing you guys, I'll place it here, but we don't recommend you place it on any objects like this because it can cause, cause overheat. So the drone battery right now, okay. Here is the drone, let's show you this is the drone, okay. Uh, let's say we take in pictures with the drone and we want to charge the battery. So the battery uses AC outlet, okay? So we just want to plug it in our AC outlet, okay? There we go. Now we also want to turn AC on. Make sure AC is on and AC right now is on, okay? And let me see, okay. All right, now let's plug some LED lights. As I said, you can run a 10 watt LED lamp for uh, 22 hours. Okay, so this is using USB type A. And by the way, guys, take a look, the input is already nine watts. This is for our drone battery, the output, sorry, the output is nine watts for our drone battery. We wanna plug in some small USB uh, fan, okay? It's also USB type A port. We have two of them. You see for our lights and for for our uh, fan. We want to uh, turn DC on, okay? So long press, DC is on, and the lamp is on right now, as you guys can see, and the fan is also on. Okay, by the way, um, a couple of live streams ago, when I do this, you can hear, this is the sound of the fan, this fan, not the fan inside a bit 3 hey because it's close to the microphone, so it's so loud. Okay, so right now we have 11 watts of AC and zero watts of um, DC, but this is not actually zero, this is just because the load is very low, so the screen is not showing it. Okay, let's plug a coffee machine in. Let's say we are outdoors and Let's say we are outdoors and we want to make some coffee. So in this case, you know, a coffee machine would be a really, really good thing to have by hand, at hand. And this is why we want to plug it in in our AC outlet. Okay, cool. And turn the machine on. Okay, it's on. And let's see the input. 425 watts. Okay, so. Um, the maximum is 600 watts and the surge is like the double of it, so 1,200 watts. So we can handle it no problem. Um, and as, guys, you can, as you guys can see, we have the battery life changed from 75 to 74% and also the time changed. So we used to have like 30 hours when we haven't plugged in anything. And by the way, the coffee kicked on, kicked off already and uh, you know, it starts brewing. And right now, guys, as you can see, the time changed. So the time right now is 0.4 hours. This is taken into account um, that we keep using it the way we're using, okay? <clears throat> right now, if I want to ch uh, charge my phone, let's say from this wireless charging outlet, I can do this. So, so there's 6% of my phone and it's charging right now. So, okay, 72% and 0.4 hours. And here, guys, you can see the output, 432 watts. So, uh, by seeing the output, you at least, you know, want to make sure that you don't exceed it or you don't exceed it for, t for too long, okay, because it can cause overload and will shut down automatically, okay, and here we can see the battery life, it changes because right now we're really using many devices at the same time. Oh, by the way, guys, we also have this light here, it's really bright, okay, get prepared, so it has three modes, two, bright, two different brightnesses and um, an SOS mode. So here we here is the light. Okay, so at the same time we have 6% and 0.4 hours. So we're using it with really many, many devices at the same time. Okay, and let's try to charge it right now from another 
portable power station of ours, but we just pretend that this is a this is uh, the uh, wall outlet. So as I said, guys, we don't need an adapter. The adapter is inside. Okay, this is the, an AC input. Let's plug it in. Okay, cool. And let's plug it in the other uh, portable power station because I read your comments and last time you guys asked about, um, let's just plug it in and see how it works. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's see if we have any input. Okay, at the same time we have an overload right now. We have an overload. This is because of the coffee, I guess. Yeah, the coffee is really, really energy consuming and we have an overload and we have a notification here. We have like this alert overload here, it says. So let's uh, turn it off for now, okay. Again, it's because of the coffee uh, machine. We probably don't recommend you guys use it with the coffee machine and, and, and other devices at the same time, you know, because it's just like, this is too much for AB3A, so you can use it one after another. Okay, cool. Uh, so right now, we're trying to also charge it from our eight, from uh, other part of the power station. So we're just turning uh, other part of the power station on right now. It was not on for the record. Okay, and, okay, let's try one more time. Okay, just turn it off because we had an overload. So we reloaded it, it's fine. Right now it's fine, no overload. Okay, cool. Let's turn it on, mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Okay, so guys, for right now, we can run all these devices. We just like, again, um, you have to be careful because the maximum output is 600 watts, okay? So right now we have 300 watts of input. Oh, very, very nice. 300 watts of input. The maximum input is like 400, 350 or something, I don't remember. So 303 watts is really good, it's a really good number. And we're charging it from another portable power station. So you can charge from a wall outlet or from another generator, from another portable power station. No problem, okay? So right now we have 300 watts of input, real nice. And here we can see the battery changes 67. So you guys can see it recharges quite quickly, but oh, uh, yeah, it recharges quite quickly. Uh, so it's a good thing, right? Okay, so 67%. And here is the time, right now is the time left before it's fully charged. So only 0.2 hours. Allowed before it's charged to 100%. Okay, so this is the cool thing about EB3A. Um, it gets out of charge quite quick, as you guys can see, if you use it with other devices. I would say, according to my experience, if you use it with, like, like we did, if you absolutely, you know, neglect um, the overload and like just trying to plug as many devices as possible and using, you know, DC and AC output at the same time, you will probably, you know, discharge your EB3A within 30 minutes but the good thing is that you can also charge it very quickly from solar panels and from ac outlet for example so you know and plus guys it's so small so probably it's not ideal for some big devices like coffee machines but it's still possible we're showing you it's possible okay if we were do if we were about to do it next time we would probably only use coffee machine itself, and then we would plug in other devices or vice versa, we would add it at the same time. Okay, at the same time, guys, let's take a look at the, okay, we, we just it already. So, this is like a brief intro of EB3A, guys. Hopefully you have some understanding. Let's sum it up. EB3A, it's small, it's super lightweight, it's only 10.14 pounds. We made it, so we have a portable, real portable power station easy to carry around on the beach, on a picnic, on a small rendezvous, on a small meetup with your friends. Um, you guys can charge your phones, your laptops from, your other gadgets, your drone batteries, your cameras. You can run a small TV, you can run your light bulbs, um, LED lights. You can also run a mini fridge, electric tools, etc. We didn't make it for huge, very power consuming devices. However, you can still use coffee machines and other devices with it. And this is EB3A, okay? So again, right now, EB3A has the biggest discount ever. Please 
check the link in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube. Original price is like $249 and it's gonna rise to $209. So you guys don't miss this opportunity, go to Facebook or YouTube, uh, wherever you are right now and um, check the link in the comments section. Okay, so this is EB3A guys. Now let's keep moving. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And by the way, guys, I encourage you to be very active in the comments because if you're active in the comments, you probably will win our giveaway. Yes, guys, we do have giveaways. We're giving away our t-shirts from Blady. We're giving away our K2 power banks. And we also giving away our hats from Blady. Our winners will be picked from Facebook and YouTube. So guys, please be active in the comments. Okay. So we almost forgot to talk about one more thing about uh, Blady EB3. Blady EB3 does not only have the screen, a fantastic screen, but also it has the app control, okay? So you can download the Blady app for iOS or Android uh, from App Store. It's free of charge right now. Let me try to connect it to the app. So I already have this app. It's called Blady. Let me show you the whole process, okay? So first, it all starts from searching Blady on your phone. So here we go, guys. Here is Blady app, okay, with the Blady logo. Click on it. You open Blady app, and what do we have there? We have two options. Option number one is to log in. Option number two is to connect. It's to connect with Bluetooth, okay? So I choose connecting with Bluetooth because EB3A, first of all, it only supports Bluetooth connection. Second of all, um, I just think that this is really more comfortable. You don't have to log in. Press connect, connect, and your phone is looking for devices right now. EB3A, yes, okay. And a couple of seconds and it's connected, okay. So here on the app, we can see the battery life, 68%, let's double check, 68%, okay, great. So here we can see the PV input or photovoltaic or our solar panels input uh, in watts right now, it's zero watts and here we can see our grid, so our AC input, or if we're charging from a nice generator input, again, it's zero watts right now. And here we can see the output, DC output, again, zero right now, and AC output. Now, guys, what we can do from the app, look, we can turn DC on. And I just turned DC on, DC kicked off right now. Okay, and I can turn AC on too. That's what I can do, guys, and you can do too from the app. I can turn AC off. I can turn DC off. Okay, here is the battery, by the way, 68%. Okay, oh, sorry, I just accidentally exited um, the EB3A settings. So here we go, again, okay, I just connected to one more time. So I can even power it off from the app. Look, I can press power off, but it says, are you sure you want to power it off? Because if you power it off from the app, you won't be able to turn it on from the app. Do you understand that? I'm like, oh, sorry. I still want to power it off. <laughs> but I won't be able to power it on from the app, okay? So I want to power it on manually. Okay, it's on right now. So um, let me show you some other things from the app. Right now, I just want to power it on again and connect it one more time. Again, guys, it's very easy. Just go to Blady app, okay? So if you missed it, Blady, connect, connect. It's looking for device real quick. EB3A here, connect, done. And okay, connected. Battery life, DC, AC load, input, input, power off. You can turn AC and DC on from the app and turn them off from the app. Here we have settings. Settings, we have charging mode. So we have different charging modes. We have Turbo mode, it's like very fast charging mode. We have silent, it's under 100 watts. So if you're sleeping or having a rest um, next to the EB3A, you don't want to hear any noises, any distractions. So you want to choose silent mode, you want to disturb. And standard mode, this is like standard. Okay, let's, set, let's, let's click okay. Power lifting mode. Power lifting mode is when you want to charge 
some devices that are close to or more than 600 watts, you can turn power lifting mode on. Eco mode, as, you, as I said guys, eco mode will shut down our AC output. So we can set it from, um, we, want it, we want it to be shut down after four hours, after three hours, after two, after two hours, or after an hour. We can set a time, let's say after an, an, like three, four hours, whatever, three hours, okay, cool. And we also have other settings like LED light, Okay, so the light can be off, right? like right now, can be in SOS mode. Okay, let's click OK, and it's SOS mode right now. Can be a high brightness and can be low bright, medium brightness. So I'm controlling the, app, the light entirely through the app. I want it off right now, okay, cool. And we even have some OTA or over the air updates. We can uh, update our our app, no, not our app, sorry, our portable power station from the app, okay? So we have to be connected to the internet though. Uh, right now we don't have any upgrades, but we guys can see, we can see guys that we had some um, ARM upgrades and DSP upgrades. So you will be able to have um, some updates over the air updates. This is pretty much it from the app, guys. The app is free for iOS or Android. It's also available in several languages. And you can uh, scan this QR code right now and download the app from Google Play or from App Store. So this is the app. Again, uh, the app you only can use it with Bluetooth, so make sure that you are relatively close to the portable power station for perfect connection. And for the updates to update EB3A uh, with over the air updates, you have to be within uh, like five meters from the, to the um, portable power station and you have to have Wi-Fi, of course. So right now, guys, it's a giveaway time and we're giving away our K2 power bank. A couple of words about K2 power bank. You can Google it. It's really a beast. It can charge your laptops, your phones, your tablets, your tablets. And it's really cool. It's like 130 watts. It can charge your device for like eight hours. It's crazy. And we're giving it away right now. And our first winner, anyway, who wants to win, guys? Type one in the comments. Type one in the comments. We're choosing the winner right now. Type one, one, one in the comments. Let me know you're here. Let me know that you guys are in, that you want to take part in our giveaway. Type one in the comments, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So this time it's our first giveaway. Our winner comes from Facebook. Next time it's gonna be from YouTube. So our winner from Facebook is Michael Hungerford. Michael, congratulations. Let me spell it. So it's Michael and then it's H-U-N-G-E-R-F-O-F-O-R-D. Okay, Michael, congratulations one more time. You got uh, our K2 power bank. Michael, please kindly contact Evelyn at bloody.com within uh, 48 hours, Evelyn at bloody.com. Thank you, Michael. Guys, if you wanna win just like Michael does, all you wanna do is be our follower, be active in the comments, okay? Give us likes, share with your friends. It's really appreciated and be helpful for the community. Share your concerns, uh, ask your questions. It's really appreciated, guys. I love what community we have and we have absolute freedom of speech in the comments, so don't worry about it. Okay, a sip of water and I'll surprise you with one more thing about EB3A, okay? So, EB3A has this nice feature. It's, it's called UPS or uninterrupted power supply. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I remember I lived in my mom's and dad's place, right? <laughs> in the house, and we didn't have any long power outages, but we just had like some quick blackout sometimes, like for maybe an hour or two, or even like for a minute, or sometimes even a matter of seconds. I remember um, when I was learning to edit videos on my computer, and I was, you know, half the way through editing my videos, and then, the power went off. We had like a short blackout. The computer, you know, turned off just in a millisecond. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? So this is when I learned about UPS, okay? UPS is, as the name implies, uninterrupted power supply. So if I had a B3A or any other UPS device, what I would do is 
the following. So normally you have this computer, right? Computer you're working on, you're writing an essay, whatever. You plug it in the wall outlet, right? You plug this AC, plug in a wall outlet. Yeah, sure, that's what everybody does, right? There is no other way around it, or is it? So in this case, guys, you actually are at a huge risk. So if there is a blackout, like, you know, a power outage, I don't like a, a short blackout, it's not really good for you because you know probably you won't save the documents on your computer and it's just really, really troublesome. So what you could do instead was to plug our EB3A to your AC outlet, the same outlet you plug your computer in. So you plug this EB3A to the AC outlet, okay? Okay, cool. And you plug your computer, it's also using like AC plug, right? So you plug it in our EB3A. So you plug your computer in the EB3A and you plug the EB3A in the wall outlet. And you might be thinking, yeah, it's a genius idea, but like I will draw on the battery too quickly because the computer it consumes a lot of power and it's not the case at all because, because our EB3A is plugged in the AC outlet. So it will be using the AC outlet power, okay, if there is power. If there is a blackout, it will be automatically switched to EB3A power. So you will never lose documents when you're working on them and you will just not be affected by the power outage at all or the quick blackout. This is the UPS function. The UPS, when it's on, you will see the UPS here on the screen. And it's really a good idea, guys. If you suffer from like short blackouts, try this. Again, plug the UPS, uh, plug the EB3A in the AC outlet and plug your computer, plug your PC in the, to our EB3A. This is it. If you got it, let me know in the comments. It's kind of hard to explain. I mean, it's easy to explain just like so many words uh, that you probably don't like having got to uh, use a lot, but uh, the concept is really simple. So instead of plugging your computer directly into your AC outlet, plug it like through EB3A, plug it into EB3A and EB3A plug into your AC outlet. And during UPS, when there is no power supply, um, the power will be drawn from EB3A, okay? But important thing, when the, everything functions properly and there is power supply, the, the battery life of EB3A will not be affected because the power will be still going from your AC outlet. So this is the UPS function. You have 24 seven UPS supply. So forget about worrying about like, you know, those documents that you're working on and you know, the power goes off and you lose everything. It's in the past. So this is what I like about Blady guys, that um, it's really changed people's lives, lifestyles. And you know, we say that you get used to good things very quickly, uh, but why not? You know, I wish you guys could get used to it. So you will not be affected by any power outages or by any uh, short power blackouts. EB3A, UPS 24 seven. Okay guys, so right now, one more time, maybe you missed it, we already did a little unboxing. So one more time, what is in the box and what are the dimensions? So the dimensions, the weight is super lightweight. It's only 10.14 pounds. The length is 10 inches, the width is 7.1 inches, and the depth is 7.2 inches. In the box, we have the warranty card, we have uh, our charging cables, we have our PV cable. So this is connected to your solar panels, this connect to your EB3A, okay, and we also have our AC charting cable, okay, it's not here, whatever guys, you saw it, it's an AC charting cable. We also have the um, user manual and a warranty, okay, we have a warranty. And here, by the way, is the AC charting cable. Check out the length, it's quite long, right? So no adapter needed, adapter is inside, forget about those big, uh, heavy adapters, plug in like this, and that's it. We already tried turning it from our other uh, portable power station and we had 300 watts of input, which is really cool. So this is what is in the box. You can also purchase a car charting cable from our website, bloodypower.com. It's not included in the box, but it's like really cheap, so you can purchase them from the website. Okay guys, it's EB3A and as you guys can see right now from the screen, the price is marked down dramatically and it's actually the lowest price ever, okay? It's the lowest price of EB3A. What I remember, I'm not sure, let me know in the comments, but like 
it's a fantastic discount. $249 becomes only $200. Well, is that the case right now? Fantastic. Okay, so guys, please make sure you use the link in the comments on Facebook on, on, or on YouTube because discounts are only valid during the live stream. And because EB3A can be charged from solar panels, from photovoltaic, as all of our portable power stations really, we thought it would be a good idea to give you guys a combo. So if you don't have your solar panels or you want to try our fantastic, lightweight, super portable, easy to carry around, gorgeous solar panels, we could give you guys a special price for it. So um, for EB3A and our PV120, the price, the original price would be $598, okay, around $600. And right now, uh, the discounted price for the bundle, for the PV120 solar panel, and for EB3A, the price would be not $598, but $508. The lowest price ever again. Use the discount link in the comments. And for our EB3A plus uh, one PV200, so with the maximum input of 200 watts, the original price would be $798, right? Around 800 bucks. But the discounted price right now is $708. The lowest price ever. Please use the link in the comments. Guys, you're saving a lot of money right now. If you need solar panels, if you want to purchase them, together with EB3A, I think it's really a good idea. And you can get our special price, special discounted price, the lowest price ever right now. Please use the link in the comments right now. We'll talk about solar panels in a mom in a second. Um, I think our solar panels are absolutely fantastic because they're easy to carry around, easy to set up easy to choose the right angle to the sun, okay? Even for novices, even for people who don't know how to use solar panels, all the cables are very compact, you know, they're there, they're attached to our solar panels, you don't have to do any cable work yourself. Um, so, you can buy a bundle, a solar panel and EB3A and get an amazing price for it right now. And guys, please be quick because all the discounts are only valid during the live stream. Okay guys, let's keep moving. Again, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And one more time, let's sum it up about EB3A, 600 watts AC, pure Saint Vape inverter, 1,200 watts surge, the capacity of 268 watts hour, lithium iron phosphate battery, 2,500 plus life cycles, after this the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity, nine outputs for multiple devices, DC, AC, including this wireless charging output on the top, and it's eco-friendly, it's gas-free, it's super quiet and cost-effective, and it's super lightweight and super easy to carry around. This is about EB3A, right now is the lowest price ever. Please use the link in the comments. Okay guys, so this is it. All right, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. We not only have EB3A, we also have other portable power stations and solar panels to talk about, okay? Such as EB70S right here. Just if you compare the sizes, EB70S is, you know, bigger than EB3A. EB70S is available in colors blue, red, gray, and green. So EB70S, the AC pure Saint Vape inverter, and the, the wattage is the maximum wattage is 800 watts, and the surge is 1,400 watts. The capacity is 716 watts. Again, massive capacity. The battery chemistry inside is lithium iron phosphate and the life cycles is 2,500 plus, but it does not mean that after 2,500 plus recharges, the battery dies. What it means is the battery just, you know, is not as powerful as before. It would be only 80% of the original capacity. It has 12 outputs for multiple devices, probably for all of your devices. Chances are there will be still outputs you will never use because you don't have a device to use it with, but Anyway, you will definitely have, uh, you will definitely find outputs for all of your devices. And there are six ways to recharge it, okay? This is AC, of course. This is solar panels, um, a car power socket from your car, from another generator, from AC plus solar simultaneously to speed the turning process up, and for dual AC. The maximum solar input you can get is 200 watts. And it's eco-friendly because it's not gas, 
uh, it doesn't run on gas. It's very quiet. You just can place it, you know, on your desk, and you cannot place a gas generator on your desk, can you? But this one you can place on your desk in the office. You know, that's actually what we do. We charge our gadgets from this portable power stations on our desk in the office, quite frankly. So, and then it's really cost effective, guys. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Let's take a closer look at the outputs right now. It has 12 outputs, doesn't it? So what outputs does it have? I'm curious. Let's take a look. So number one, we have this car cigarette lighter, 12 volts, okay? This is to charge your fridges, to your fans and whatnot. I don't know guys, what devices you're using with this output, but we have it right here, 12 volts, okay. Now bordering it is a 12 volt and 10 amps output. This is for our Wi-Fi routers, for uh, TV routers, whatever. This is a five volt and three amp USB 8 port. And we have two of them for our Android phones, for our LED lights, for our fans, for our, um, I don't know, what else? Anyway, there are so many devices that we can use USB Type A port. And bordering it is a 100 watt USB Type C port for our MacBook, for our other devices. And guys, 100 watts is really quick, so we'll give your MacBook a quick charge. And we have two of them. Okay, here we have four AC outputs, 100 to 120 volts and 800 watts, and the surge is 1,400 watts, and it is a sine wave, pure sine wave inverter. So you can just plug in any device that you plug in your wall, you can plug it here in this AC outlet. And we have this nice light, so this light has three modes different brightness and an SOS or a party mode, okay? And it has a screen, it has a screen. So the screen shows the input and the output. And it also shows the frequency, 60 Hertz. It shows the battery life and it shows whether the eco mode is on or off right now is what it shows, okay? On the top, we have a DC wireless charging pad rated at 15 watts. This is for the phones that support wireless charging and you can also charge your earphones, for example. If you, you can put your earphones here on the top, if they support wireless charging, sure, why not? Okay, here's what it looks like from the back side. There is nothing here, so you can place it against the wall. Okay, and it's available in many colors. You can choose your favorite color when you purchase uh, EB70S. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much it about the outputs. Okay, we, we had a quick look. Right now, let's talk about the inputs, but before, I want to announce a discount. So, original price for EB70S is $569, okay? And right now, discounted price is $499. Please use the code LIVEEB70S on our website, bladdypower.com and get an, a, a massive discount. Uh, original price is $569 and discount price is $499. Okay, discounts are only valid during the live stream. Right now, let's talk about how can we recharge it. So the first and the most obvious way to recharge it is from our AC outlet. So from the AC outlet, you will get 200 watts of maximum input and you will be able to recharge your EB70S uh, within four to four and a half hours, okay? If you're outdoors, if you're living off grid in a van or you just like you're outdoors with your friends, there is no AC outlet, you will recharge from your solar panels, okay? So for solar panels, we will get the maximum input of 200 watts it is like really maximum with the prime sunshine, with a good ambient temperature around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, with the right angle you place the solar panels to the sun at, and also with the optimal length of the cord, you connect your solar panels to the uh, EB70S in this case, and you will get maximum of 200 watts of input, and you will be able to recharge the same speed four to four and a half hours. One more option is to recharge from your car power socket when on the go, from 12 volt or from 24 volt car outlet. So for 12 volt, it will be uh, 100 watts, and for 24 volts, it will be 
200 watts. So you will be able to recharge it within four or 7.5 hours correspondingly. Again, when on the go, it's not the fastest way, but it's an option, right? So this are uh, the most common ways to recharge it. You can also combine AC plus solar, solar simultaneously and you'll be able to give it an even a quicker charge and you can also do dual AC. Now you can also recharge from another generator, maybe you have some old school gas generators or you can recharge it from another portable power station. These are the ways to recharge EB70S. Okay. Now, guys, again, right now we have the lowest price ever, so please make sure you use it. So we prepared some data for you guys how you can run or recharge devices with EB70S. Let's say you take it with you outdoors and using your phone, so you need to recharge your phone. So your phone is probably 2,815 milliamps, so milliamp hour. So in this case, we'll be able to give your phone 50 charges from zero to 100%, okay? If you recharge your laptop, which is 60 watts hour, you will be able to recharge it uh, for nine to 10 times. If you recharge your tablet, which is 30 watts hour, you will be able to recharge your tablet 20 times. If you're using a lamp, if you're running a lamp, okay, which is 10 watts, you can run a lamp for 53 plus hours. If you are charging your camera, this is 16 watts hour. You can recharge your camera, you can give your camera 36 plus charges. If you're recharging your drone battery, okay, which is 60 watts hour, you can recharge your drone battery for eight plus times. If you're running a fan, okay, which is 30 watts hour, you can run your fan for 18 hours. And yet, if you're playing a switch, right, a switch and you're recharging your switch, you can give your switch, which is 25 watts, 96 hours of, um, of game time so you can recharge it and then or you can just connect it uh, if it supports uh, pass recharging I'm not sure okay and um, let's say you use it with your cough machine so you can use it with your cough machine you can use cough machine for 62 minutes okay cough machine is really uh, very power consuming but it only takes a couple of minutes to actually brew the coffee right so 62 minutes in total and we want to make sandwich right now okay so let's be outdoors we don't have any grid power we want to plug it in here in our ac outlet we're using our sandwich maker right now and we want to turn it on in this case it's turned on already and we want to turn the sandwich on let's say 10 minutes okay take a look guys the output is 535 and the maximum is 800 watts so we are on the safe side let's take a look how the output changes Okay, so there we go, 535, 536, our sandwich maker. Uh, we can make some sandwiches right now. Let's, let's see if the battery life changes or not. Right now it's 100%. So yeah, 533, the output. And with the output of 800 watts, we are really on a safe side. We can also plug some DC out, outputs, uh, use some DC outputs. So this one USB A, for example, let's turn it on right now the fan is on this fan not the fan inside <laughs> okay so um yeah we probably added a couple of watts to our um, output right now oh we also have this wireless charging on the top so I'll just place my phone on the top okay yeah 76 percent okay okay 531 watts what else we can do guys so this is how many devices you can charge at the same time okay and right now let's talk about some uh, general information in terms of sizes, dimensions. So dimensions, the length is 12.6 inches, okay? A really compact size. The width is 8.5 inches and the depth is 8.7 inches. And the weight is 21.4 pounds. Does it have a pass through charging or can we charge it and discharge it at the same time? Or can we charge it and use it at the same time? Yes, guys, we can. Don't worry about it. It will not damage the battery life. We just recommend that if you do so, you just kind of recharge it entirely, um, like every month, I guess. So other than that, don't really worry about using it uh, and charging it at the same time. 
operating temperature from minus 4 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And storage temperature is from 14 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a bunch of certifications like CAC, DOE, FCC, QC 3.0, uh, CA Prop 65. If it does not ring a bell, it's fine. It's kind of cool certifications, so just showing the credentials, okay? And the warranty is 24 months, so um, two years, right? So don't worry about anything. After you purchase it, you have 24 months of warranty. Okay, what's happening right now? 520. Um, Okay, that's pretty much normal. So that's all we have. The frequency is center 60 hertz. Right now it's 520 watts of outputs because we're running our massive sandwich maker. We also have some minor DC uh, loads here from my phone on this wireless charging pad on the top and this nice small fan that is running right now as you guys can hear. Okay, and it's 523 watts. So yeah, we can do more because the maximum is 800 watts. So this is cool. Let's keep going, guys. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. So what is in the box? Let's open the box. What is there? Number one, we have AC adapter and charging cable, okay? Um, to charge from the wall outlet. Number two, we have a car charging cable. Car charging cable is included in EB70S. We also have a solar charging cable to connect it to the solar panels. Okay, and we also have a user manual, warranty card, and certificate of the quality pass. This is what we have in the box. We pretty much have everything um, other than the solar panels. Yeah, the solar panels are expensive, so we couldn't include them, right? But however, we do have a special bundle price. You can buy them separately, save money, right? Like for EB3A, we have a special offer. You guys remember? And for M70S, I'm not sure, but here you guys can see the price, original and discounted, and you guys can see how much you're saving right now. Specifically, $569 becomes only $499. So guys, don't waste this opportunity. Discounts are only valid during the live stream, so please use it right now. Okay, so EB70S is fantastic, right? It's super easy to carry around. It's relatively lightweight, and yet it's such a compact size, right? But what if you need some bigger portable power stations for power outages, or maybe you're living off grid in a van, or maybe you're looking for some, you know, just like really massive energy, and EB70S is, you know, like too small for you. You want something bigger. Guys, don't go away. In fact, call your friends and we are ready to talk about AC200 Max. And as the name implies, AC200 Max should be maximizing the potential of this portable power station and it should be massive and definitely sufficient for all of your needs um, inside or outside your house. So let's talk about Gladi AC200 Max modular solar generator. Okay, so there we go, AC 100 Max. Okay guys, meet AC 100 Max model solar generator. Um, the AC pure sine wave inverter here is 2,200 watts. So 200,000 watts AC, okay? And pure sine wave inverter, and the surge is 4,800 watts. The capacity is 2048 watts hour. The chemistry is the same lithium iron phosphate with 3500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. It does have the battery in sight. It's uh, Life B04, lithium iron phosphate. However, it's also expandable with other expansion batteries. Okay, because I saw you guys asked in the comments last time, wait, does it have a battery inside? It absolutely does have the battery inside. Yes, lithium iron phosphate battery, 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity, um, 2,048 watts hour of the capacity, and 2,200 watts AC, pure sine wave inverter, 4,800 watts surge. And also, despite of having its own battery, it's also expandable with other expansion batteries. You can expand it with B230 or B300. You can expand it 
with up to two B230s or with two B300s. When expanded with two um, B230s, the capacity increases to 6,144 watts hour. When expanded with two B300s, the capacity reaches 8,192 watts hour. And we'll be talking about B230 expansion battery in a second. There are seven ways to recharge our AC200 Max. AC, um, AC outlet, solar paddles, okay, car power socket, another generator, lead battery, dual AC, dual AC at the same time, and AC plus solar simultaneously. The maximum solar input is 900 watts, and the maximum fast dual charging is 1,300 watts. This is a solar plus AC adapter simultaneously. It also has a smart control and it has a nice screen here we'll be talking about later and it has an app control. Okay, that's fantastic. And guys, despite of being so big, it's still eco-friendly. It's, uh, it's not super lightweight, but it's, you know, you can carry it around, no problem. And um, what else? It's gas-free, it's quiet, and it's really cost-effective. Let's take a look at the 16 outputs we have here, okay? Okay, let me give you guys a closer look. Let's dive into it. 16 outlets, what are those? Starting with number one, which is our 12 volts DC 10 amps car power socket, okay? So, I don't know, some refrigerators, some fans, whatever you guys are using with this car power socket, plug it in, it's 12 volts and 10 amps. 12 volts and 30 amps here on the bottom is a bread and butter output for those guys who live in RVs, am I right? You can plug so many devices here. So guys, we have it right here for those who live in RVs, for those who live off grid. 12 volts and 10 amps DC output for Wi-Fi routers, for radios, we have it right here, okay? We also have USB type C rated at 100 watts, super fast charging for our MacBook, for other USB type C devices, great. USB type A, 18 watts, we have two of this here, and 18 watts is like three watts, three more watts than normal, so usually it would be three amps and five um, watts, so there would be like 15, and here it's um, oh, five watts, I mean, so 15 watts, and here it's like 18 watts. And here USB A, again, the same ones, we have four identical USB type A ports, 18 watts. And here we have our, D, our AC outputs, 100 to 110 volts, 2000 watts, okay? And this is like normal AC outlets, four of them. And here we have 110 to 120 volts, 2200 watts, NEMA TT30, this is what it's called, right? This is for like really, really big devices. So if you have any device to use this output, go ahead and plug it in here, guys, don't worry about it. 2200 watts and 4800 watts surge and 100 to 120 volts, okay? And four normal AC outputs, great. We also have two wireless outputs here on the top. These are DC outputs, wireless charging for your phones, for your earphone cases, for some watches, you know, and whatnot. So if your gadget supports a wireless charging, you can give it 15 watt wireless charging here on the top. We can charge our phones and other gadgets. It does have a screen, so we should talk about it, right? So, so many outputs for really multiple devices, guys, and let's talk about the screen, let's talk about the ways we can recharge our A200 Max. And A200 Max is like the best for um, A200 collection. So we have A200P, A700, and right now it's A200 Max. So, what are the ways to recharge it? Number one is, of course, our AC outlet, AC adapter, AC outlet, when you just plug it in, in your wall or in another generator, AC outlet. So you will get 400 watts of maximum input, okay? And you will be able to recharge it after 
five to six hours, uh, five, five and a half to six hours, I would say, from your AC outlet. Another way to recharge it is, of course, solar, okay, from solar panels. When you off-grid, when you don't have any AC outlets, when you're like, I don't know, maybe having a picnic or you're camping, you're camping, right? So you can recharge from your solar panels. From my solar panels with the prime sunshine, with ideal ambient temperature, the fastest um, time you can get recharged is three and a half, uh, even three to three and a half hours. The maximum solar input is 900 watts. Okay, one more way, not the fastest, in fact, the slowest, but it's an option, is a car power socket, car cigarette lighter. So uh, either 12 or 24 volt car outlet, Depending on if it's uh, 12 or 24 volts, you will get either 100 or 200 watts of input. So you will be able to recharge it after 10 or 20 hours. One more way is a C adapter plus solar, solar simultaneously. So in this case, you will be able to get the input of shocking 1,300 watts. Of course, you probably will never reach this number, it's like the record, because this is on an ideal day when it's super shiny and yet not super hot, you know, around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, when you place your solar panels at the perfect angle to the sun, when you're catching the most of the sun and don't place them in the shadows, things like this. So. In this case, you will get maximum 1,300 watts. This is 900 watts of like uh, solar plus like AC adapter. So yeah, and dual AC is one more option. So, oh, by the way, for AC and solar simultaneously, you'll be able to recharge it like after two to two and a half hours. And for dual AC, okay, dual AC, you will get the maximum of 800 watts. We just add two 400, so 400 for one, 400 for two, 800 watts and you will be able to recharge a 100 max from dual AC after three to three and a half hours. However, an extra adapter is required. You can purchase it on our website, bladypower.com. This is the ways, guys, we can recharge our AC 200 max. And right now we have a giveaway time. We're giving away our cap. So who is a winner? Let's take a look. Okay. Guys, again, if you wanna win, be active in the comments. Type one right now in the comments. Type one, one, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the winner is chosen. Our winner this time is from YouTube, okay? Because last time it was from Facebook. So, congratulations, YouTube. YouTube, are you here? Okay, great. So, congratulations to our winner from YouTube. Mile Deep, Mile Deep, congratulations! You just got our bloody hat. Mile Deep, this hat, I mean, not this hat, like the same hat goes to you, to your place, but we need your info, so please contact Evelyn at bloody.com within 48 hours. Congrats one more time, Mile Deep, woohoo! It's M-I-L-E-D-E-P. Please contact Evelyn at bloody.com for this fantastic hat from Bluetti. So guys, if you want this hat, if you want our other giveaways, make sure you are active in the comments, make sure you are helpful for the community, you're asking questions, or you're sharing your experience, or you're share sharing your concerns, or whatsoever, just be active friendly in the comments, and that would go, that would give you, that would get you a giveaway. Okay, right now let's talk about the screen. So, the screen, the screen, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. So. The screen, guys, first of all, we have to turn the whole thing on, okay? Let's turn it off right now, just for the purpose of showing you how to actually use it. So, first of all, we have to turn it on by pressing it for a second, and it will kick on right now. Uh, probably was too quick. So, okay, bloody initializing, right? So, it welcomes you. Okay, it's ready to be used. So, the screen, guys, a quick guide to the screen, you will, you will like it, okay. In the center, we have the battery life, precise battery life, 39%, okay? Now, let's click on it. When we click on it, we can see the battery life, 39%, or how it's called, battery SOC. We can see the battery pack, one. One refers to the battery of the A200 Max itself. Now, we also have two and three. What do those two and three stand for? Oh, it's a good question, I'm glad you asked. As you guys remember, Ace 200 Max is expandable with 
1 bit 130 or bit 130 or 2 bit 130 with 1 bit 300 or 2 bit 300. So we can see the battery life of two more expansion batteries here because expansion batteries, they don't have their own screens. So we will see the battery life here right now because we have not expanded with other expansion batteries. It's all like, I don't know, it's, not, it's off. So, but we will be able to see the battery state, the battery online or offline. This one is online, is green. And battery SOC, battery pack, great. Battery info, let's go back. This was when we clicked on the battery here. Now on the top, we have PV or photovoltaic, right? When we click on it, as I just did, we can see the input voltage, okay? Volts and input power, watts. Let's go back. This is when you charge your AC200 max from photovoltaic or from a car power socket, You'll be able, you will be able to see the input, the exact input in watts, and if you click on it, you will be also able to see the voltage. Okay, let's go back. Here is the grid or our AC charging. When you're charging it from your AC outlet, or even doing dual AC, you will be able to see the input or how many watts are coming in here. Yet if you click on it, you will also be able to see the input voltage and the input power in watts. Let's go back. Here below, we have DC load and AC load. So this is not the input. The input is there. This is the output. This is when we give power from A200 max to other devices. Let's say, forget about AC. We're using DC right now, right? So let's click on DC load. First of all, even without clicking on it, we'll be able to see the input, the output here, okay? When we click on it, we'll be able to see the exact info, like explicit information for each and every output here, for output voltage, output power. We'll be able to see the output power for 12 volt and 10 amp output here. We'll be able to see the output power for 12 volt and 30 amp Output uh, here, we're able to see the output for USB, for PD, or for USB Type C, uh, for uh, wireless output power on the top, right here. Let's go back. AC load, okay, the AC load is here. AC load is fantastic, 2000 watts, 2200 watts. Let's click on it. Again, we'll be able to see output voltage, output power, output frequency, okay? Oh, our frequency is centered in America, it's uh, 60 hertz. And uh, our power is what matters. Our voltage, of course, so also very important. So we'll be able to see it here, but if you want to see more explicit information, we just can click on it. Now let's go back. Now, most importantly, uh, before or after you plug any of your devices in, when you actually want to st start running them or charging them, make sure you turn the outlets on. So if you're using DC, maybe USB type C or USB type A or USB type C, you want to turn DC on, okay? On. And right now it's on, so it's ready to give power. Now after using it, you turn it off. Okay. Same goes for AC. Turn it on. Okay, great. And off if you want. If you like, you know, if you're done using. So okay, again. Uh, we have settings here. Let's click on settings. Now, settings here are the following. So, first of all, we have language settings between English and Nihongo or Japanese. We have AC outer voltage, 120, 110, or 100 volts, depends on the place you live. AC outer frequency, 60 hertz in the USA. Most countries use 50 hertz, right here. So, DC input source. If you're charging your AC 200 packs from PV, uh, please choose PV. If you're charging your DC, uh, uh, if you're charging your AC 200 packs from others, choose others. Okay. If you're using an eco mode, you will be able to see eco on. On, sorry. If you want to shut it down, please turn it off. All AC outputs will be cut off if there is no AC loads or very low AC load, more than four hours to save battery. The DC outputs will not be affected. Do you want it on or off? I want it on. Do you want it off? You want, okay, then press off. Great, let's click next. 
Bluetooth settings, Bluetooth state. So either disconnected or connected. It has the app, okay, and the app we only can use with Bluetooth. So if you want the Bluetooth on, please click it on uh, if you want to use the app right now or off. Okay, great. Buzzer settings. When something goes wrong, overload, overheat, short circuit, you will hear the buzz. You want to hear it or not? On or off? On or off? Okay. Touch sound. When I click on it, you can hear this sound. It, do you want like this sound? Let's just, uh, you know, let's um, press on. Don't like the sound, let's press off. And right now there is no sound, as you guys can hear. <laughs> or as you guys cannot hear, because there is no sound. <laughs> okay. And finally, restore factory settings. Do you want to restore factory settings? Are you sure you want to restore device to its factory settings? Yes or no? Okay, great. Next. Backlight brightness. This is to control the brightness of the screen. You can either drag it or just click on it. It can be very dim. It can be quite bright. You can control the brightness like this. Sleep time. After what time should the screen turn down, uh, turn off? Um, after 30 seconds? After one minute? After five minutes? Or never? Choose the time as you want. Of course, use the common sense. If you're trying to save battery as much as possible, set like 30 seconds. If you don't care about it, just say never, just stay never, uh, just uh, choose never. Day settings, okay, we can set the date here, the, the, the month, the day, the year, and the time setting, the hour, the minute, the seconds. So guys, here's our local time, and here's our local day settings. Let's go back and back, or just let's click on settings. Oh no, we can't, let's go back, 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 okay, cool. So, um, data. Data here, okay, product info. We have our model, a 2 Max, we have our serial number, we have our DSP version, ARM version, BMS, our battery management system version, we have our HMI version, let's go next. We have our BMS1 version, BMS2 version. Let's go back, back. Inverter and charger info, okay. This is everything we can access from the main screen, actually. PV or car charge, input voltage, input power. Guys, remember, we could just uh, click on the screen there and we could access it too. After and charger, the same, DC output, the same, AC output, the same. BMS maintenance, again, we could access when we click in the center uh, on our battery. Alarm history, okay, I like this one. So alarm history is the history of the alarms that you have had, like be it an overload, overheat, or short circuit. You will be able to see all of the alarms like for a long time. However, if you want to clear them, just click clear, clear alarm history. Yes. Let's go back and back. Alarms. Alarms are here. Again, we have no alarms, but if you had them, you can click clear and clear alarms. Yes. Okay. Let's go back, guys. So this is pretty much it about the screen. Here on the top, we can see the exact date and the time. And the screen allows you to control it effectively, and you can always change the settings uh, if you want. Now, what is even cool in the screen, of course, is the app. I'm gonna be using my phone right now. I really don't need anything else other than my phone. And let's go into it, guys. So, Blue Eddy, let me type Blue Eddy. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So, Blue Eddy app is here. I click on it. Right now, I'm still connected to EB3, as you guys remember. Let me go back. I press connect, connect, yes. It's looking for a device, AC200 Max. Okay, it's right here, AC200 Max. I click on it, and it is connected, okay. So we can see the battery life right here, 39, 39, accurate. We can see the PV input, the PV, uh, the PV input, the grid input. We can see the DC output, the AC output. We can turn DC and AC on and off through the app. DC on, AC on, and AC off, DC off. We can power off our AC200 Max through the app. But as it says here, we cannot turn it back on through the app. So are you sure? Uh, not sure, cancel. Okay, cool. So if you click on the battery here, you will be able to see an explicit, an explicit information here. Pack one, COC, 39%, 39, 
status, standby, split phase status, pack two, because we haven't connected any expansion batteries, any additional batteries, we cannot see any info about other batteries. We can see the potential info we could see, like for the first battery, but right now, because it's not connected, it's nothing here. Okay. Hmm. It's pretty simple. When you click on settings here, we have some settings. We have auto sleep. We can control when we want the screen to turn off after five minutes, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or never. We can choose the time here. And we also have some OTAs or over the air updates. So when we click on firmware upgrade, we can see a data connection is not currently on. We could turn our Wi-Fi on right now, okay? And we could check if we have any updates or not. So let me check right now. But we had some, our movie version, like current version is this following and current BMS version and DSP version. If we have some updates, we will be able to see them in the app. And we'll be not updating the app, we'll be updating the, our A700 Nexus, which is actually pretty cool. Now, um, I'll just turn my Wi-Fi off again and I'm back to the app. So this is what we can see guys right here. Now, when we're actually running A700 Max and we're charging devices from DC and AC outputs or some, some of them, we will be able to see the input uh, and the output here. Input is on the top is when we're charging our AC700 Max itself and we will able to see the output here when we're charging other devices right here. So. This is pretty much it, and the app is really simplistic, minimalistic, and yet very, very useful. You, you cannot, um, you can actually, you know, control everything through the app. You don't have to always be next to the A200 Max. You don't you have to always be looking at the screen. Maybe it's too bright. Maybe it's like, you know, super bright outdoors. You can't see the screen really clearly. So just use the app, no problem. Okay, some questions. A commonly asked question is, does it have, uh, does it support 240 volt phase bonding? The answer is no. Scalability, as we said before, it is expandable with 1B230, with 2B230s, or with 1B300, or with 2B300s, uh, which actually can accelerate its capacity uh, dramatically. So it's also has, it also has pass-through charging. This is a big yes. And to anticipate your concerns, it does not affect the battery life as much. So don't worry about it. And after all, we have a two-year warranty. So if you're worrying about destroying the battery, don't really worry about it. You can actually, you guys, charge and discharge it at the same time, okay? So dimensions, the length is 16.5 inches, the width, is 11 inches. The depth is 15.2 inches. The weight is 61.9 pounds. Operating temperature, you can discharge it under the temperature from minus four to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The storage temperature we're not using. You can um, store it under the temperature of 14 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Certifications, it has UL standard CEC, DOE, FCC, CA, Prop 65 and the warranty for 24 months or for two years, okay? This is 1800 max. Open the box, you receive it, knock, knock, who is there? Your 1800 max is there, so what do we have in the box? Let's take a look what we have in the box. So first of all, we have 1800 max itself well packed in the box. Now we also have a bunch of accessories, such as we have a T400 AC adapter and a cable, guys, please. Kindly take a look at all the accessories over here. So we have T400 AC adapter and a cable, okay? We do have an adapter, yeah, we need to have it. There is, you know, something we cannot do without. So this is the adapter and this is the AC cable and adapter, okay? We have it in a box. We also have our PV charging cable XT90 to MC4. This is to connect it to our solar panels, okay? Because one of the ways you want to recharge your a Max is solar panels. So we have our solar panel uh, XD, uh, MC4 to XT90. Okay, this is it. So we also have our car charging cable to XT90 included in the box, okay, right here. Now we also have our XT90 to aviation cable. There we go. 
So these are the accessories. Now, not to mention we also have our certificate of QC pass and our user manual and also our warranty card for two years. So guys, these are the accessories that you are getting when you're purchasing our AC200 Max. And also right now we have a special price for AC200 Max. Let's see what the price is right now, guys. So you can click the link in the comments. Original price is $1,899. Discounted price is $1,799. Please use discount right now. Don't waste this opportunity. Use the discount link in the comments. Okay, right now, let's try to load some devices with a 200 Max and let's see how long we can charge or run various devices with a C200 uh, max. So A200 Max guys can also be expanded with either 1B230, 1B300, 2B230s or 2B300s, okay? We will try to load some devices like ice machine and like an oven. So okay, right now let's try to expand it. So this is B230, okay, B230. B230 is an expansion battery. B230 can be used on its own, no problem. It's very easy to figure out. It has the battery inside, lithium iron phosphate battery, okay, with 3,500 plus life cycles. Does it have any outputs? Yes, it does. On this side, it does have outputs here. Okay, let's take a look. So, it has this uh, car charging port output, 12 volts DC, 10 amps. It has USB type C output, 100 watts, fast charging for our MacBook. It has USB type A, 18 watts, also fast charging for our USB A devices. So it does have outputs, no problem. Go ahead, turn it on and go ahead, plug it in, plug devices in, no problem. Here's the input to charge B230, okay. And this is the uh, extension uh, port. Now, uh, here we also have the battery indicator, very nice, okay. So we can actually expand B230 with a C200 Max. So B230, the capacity of B230 itself is 2048 watts hour. The voltage is 51.2 volts and the amperage, the amper hour is uh, 40 amps hour. The type of cell is again lithium iron phosphate, life PO4. Life cycles, as I said, is 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. It has the management system, MPPT controller, BMS, etc. So we'll be able to uh, connect our B230 with our A200 Max with this nice cable. And by the way, for B230, if you want to purchase it separately, the price, original price is $1,399 and the scalar price is $1,299. Okay, right now, let's try to expand our B230 with uh, A200 Max. And you know guys, B230 is really powerful, as I said. So let's say you're charging your iPhone 11. You can give your iPhone 11 140 plus charges, okay, from this USB Type-C 100 watt output. If you're charging your laptop, like MacBook Pro, let's say, you can charge your MacBook 33 plus times from B230. If you're turning your camera, it's like 16 watts hour. You can charge your camera for 110 plus charges. And if you're running a fan, it's like 30 watts, you can run your fan for 60 plus hours. It doesn't have many ports. It has this uh, car power socket, 12 volts, 10 amps. It has this USB Type-C, 100 watts, it has this USB type A, 18 watts out, but this is pretty much it. This is the input, this is the uh, battery extension, uh, 51.2 volts to extend it with our A200 Max. Okay, let's do it right now. We need to use this cable, the cable is big. It's a good thing. Plug it in. Okay, I'm plugging in A200 Max. I hear the click, okay and I'm plugging it in our B230. Okay, great. I'm plugging it in, can I turn it on right now? No, because I first have to lock and lock, and after it's locked, I can turn it on right now, and I can see if it's expanded or not. So we can place like this, 
Okay, no problem. Or like this, just to show you guys the process. And let's click on the battery. Voila, right now we have the second battery expanded. And the battery percentage is totally 27%, but that's fine. It was like, like this when we came here to the studio. So right now, guys, it's expanded and we have a much better capacity right now. The capacity increased. So you're probably wondering, how can we recharge B230? B230 can recharge different ways. So first of all is our AC adapter, right? And the maximum input you will get is 500 watts maximum. The second way is solar panels. You will also get maximum 500 watts of input. However, you have to be careful about VOC or voltage open circuit. Uh, the voltage open circuit has to be from 12 to 60 volts DC and 10 amps, okay? Uh, car input, you can also charge from car power socket, either 12 or 24 volt secret lighter port. Uh, lead exit battery, no problem, 12 to 24 volt from cigarette lighter port, viability DO50S, we'll talk about DO50S later, it's like a DC charging enhancer, and the maximum input you can get is 500 watts. These are the ways to recharge B230. Right now guys, it's expanded, it works perfectly, and as we could see uh, from the uh, screen, we, can ha we have two batteries right now, we can extend one more, however we only have two right now, as you guys can see, uh, we would love to give you a closer look. Yeah, yeah, okay, 39% of A200 backs and 27% of B130. We can also see it from the screen, by the way, so from, from the app. So from the app, if I click on the battery, I can see the 39% is the A200 max battery and 27% is the B130 battery. So yeah, all here. Okay. When you purchase uh, B230, what do you have in the box? In the box, you have this cable. This cable we need to extend with um, Ace 200 Max, okay? So basically, so this is pretty much it. You also have certificate of QC Pass, and uh, you have user manual and the warranty card. That's what you have with B230. Okay, guys, right now it's working perfectly. Let me just uh, place it how we would normally place it, like this or maybe just place on the table, it doesn't matter. And we can load some devices right now, guys. We could load some devices like this oven right now, for example. So let's go for it, let's go for it, because the capacity is really high. We can use it with many, many devices at the same time without worrying about overload, without worrying about, um, you know, uh, really discharging uh, the, our portable power station too quick. So let's plug it in, go back, turn AC on. We could also do it through the app, remember? And, okay, I just said like 10 minutes, whatever. Okay, 1,288, 90, whoo, pretty high, huh? This is, the, this is the output right now. We're using an oven, we're making some marshmallows, or I don't know what we're making, but guys, this is just to show you uh, how it works. So the maximum input, the maximum, sorry, the maximum output here is 2000 watts or even 2200 watts. So it's all right, right, right now. We also want to plug in the blender also using AC. Okay. So the blender is going to be very loud. I'm going to uh, turn off my mic real quick and let's go for it. Okay guys, so as you guys could see, it was like a really high uh, output. Really cool. Right now the blender, the juice, whatever is done. And we still have an oven on, so it's um, 1,169. And let's plug in this pan. This is like a really interesting pan. It uses an uh, AC outlet. Just showing you what we plug it in, because like, it's bizarre. Okay, uh, let me plug it in. Okay, it's, it's, it's right now it's in, and let's turn it on. Okay, so, oh uh, yeah, we're reaching 2,000, really nice. 2,000, 
Great. So we can actually do more because, like, you know, the max is like 1,000 watts. That's fine. We survived the spike right now, 2000, 2010. Okay, great. All right. You don't want to cross 2000, I guess. Let's see if we have any alarms. No, we're fine. we good. So, yeah, everything works perfectly, guys. Everything works perfectly. So, there we go. This is how we can use our Ace One Max expanded with B230. We are running a pan and like AC electric pan. Uh, we're boiling some water. We're also making marshmallows in the oven. And we just uh, made the juice right now, or smoothie, I guess. And you guys can see the battery life, 31%. Look, we can see the battery life of two devices, so 37 and 26%. Let's go back. So, and the AC load here is 1,680A. And this is pretty much it. So we can also plug in some, some DC devices, you know, if we want at the same time, no problem. So this is, the, uh, this is how it actually works. You could also probably hear the fans kick off because the load is quite high. The load was like, either 2,000 or even like slightly more than 2,000 and it went down to like less than 2,000 because it was the spike. So the fans definitely kick off, oh uh, yeah, <laughs> but that's fine, right? So, okay, um, this is pretty much it, guys. As you guys can see it in work, so what can I think of? During power outages, during blackouts, if you're outdoors, if you live off grid in a van, you can definitely use this system uh, when you're on the go, like in a van, you know, probably wouldn't love to carry it around. But it's not too much fun carrying it around. But in a van, it's totally fine. Okay, speaking about totally fine, guys, we want to give you special discounts right now to our viewers of this live stream. So for AC200 Max, original price is $1,899 and discounted price is $1,799, okay? For B230 here on the top, and again, this is an expansion battery. Primary use, uh, usage is to use with, with ASO 100 Max. However, this is not to say it cannot be used on its own. So the price is $1,399, and its current price is $1,299. Please use the link in the comment section and kindly take a look at the original and its current prices here and here, and also don't forget to follow our social medias here. And for uh, a Snow Hunted Max and V230 combined, bundled together, original price is $3,298, and discounted price is $3,098. Just like this, guys. So please make sure you use the discount link in the comments section, okay? And right now we're giving away our T-shirt, okay? Who wants a giveaway? Please type one in the comments, type one, 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 YouTube, Facebook, type one in the comments if you want a giveaway. This nice t-shirt, it's really pleasant to touch and skin friendly, it says power on, power on and power on. Here's what it looks like from the back. Okay, so let's go for it. Our winner this time is five, four, three, two, one, go. This time is from Facebook, Brian. Soltero, Brian Soltero, congratulations. I apologize if I mispronounce your names, guys. It's really hard. So, <clears throat> Brian, congratulations. You got our t-shirt. Please kindly contact Evelyn at bladdy.com within 48 hours. Evelyn at bladdy.com. Thank you, Brian. Okay, guys. So as you can see, our S1 Max with V230, it functions perfectly. We had our smoothie done, we have our marshmallow bacon in the oven, we have this weird AC pan, there's like the water's boiled, I guess, and this is it. So right now, let's talk about something that we absolutely love, and this is solar panels, because solar panels are fantastic. We can recharge all of those portable power stations with solar panels. Let us talk about solar panels, shall we? Okay, right now I can turn it off. I think we've done it. Turning it off here and here. Okay, both are off. Unplugging these devices we're using right now. Okay, there we go. And let's talk about solar panels.
<laughs> I just touched the oven. Real hot. Okay. So, okay. This is the cable. It comes together with uh, B230, okay? It's in a package. All right, guys, let me uh, bring the, the, uh, the, panel, the solar panels for you. Okay. So, solar panels are, uh, let's just talk about them. You'll be able to see the pictures, I guess. Um, okay, so the first solar panel is our Bloody PV120, and this one is like quite small, so we can talk about it. This is like the size of PV120. Uh, 120, it stands for maximum input. The maximum input is 120 watts. So just take into account, you probably will never get this input because like this is like an ideal day with a prime sunshine and good ambient temperature on 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're like a master of placing the solar panels to the, the perfect angle, but it's like approximately 120 watts. Um, Whatever, so the, the maximum is 120 watts. The weight of P120 is 12.57 pounds, real lightweight, and also very compact, as you guys can see. Easy to carry around too. Look at this ingenious design. I, I absolutely adore, okay? So as you guys can see right now, it's really easy to carry around, just like this. All the cables are here, really compact and nice. Okay. Here we have the cables. Here we have the uh, technical details. Okay. So everything we need is here. If these are first, if these are your first solar panels, I kind of envy you because this is so nice. Okay, this is like 21st generation solar panels. Okay, dimensions. When uh, folded, it's uh, 21 by 18.5 inches, okay? And when unfolded, it's 21 by 65 inches. So it's not too big, and the maximum input is 120 watts. Also, what I love about those solar panels, and all solar panels of ours, of Blady, is that on this back side here, we actually have something quite eye-catching. And this is the, this nice, Thanks. I put it the wrong way, so we have to put it we have to put it this way. Because this will allow us to set a perfect angle, right? Any angle. So Okay? Just this is how it works. And you set the angle. Great. So let's talk about some technical details about this PV120. Uh, Bladder solar panels. If you forgot the technical details, guys, don't worry about it. It's all here with the cables, okay? So with the cables, uh, we have the technical details. And it starts with model, right? So model is P120. Peak power is 120 watts of maximum input. Solar cell mono. Um, now here we have cell efficiency is 23.4% up to 23.4%. Voltage at max power or VMP, 19.6 uh, volts. Current at max power, IMP, 61.1 uh, amps. Oh, sorry, sorry, 6.1 amps. Open circuit voltage is 24.4 volts. Short circuit current is 6.43 amps. And operation temperature is uh, minus 10 Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. Uh, let me convert it to Fahrenheit for you guys real quick. Uh, what is it gonna be? Anyway, uh, the ideal temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit, but like, it's fine. So you have all this uh, technical details here, and you also have these cables that you need to connect to your, to your portable power station. Okay, the cables are here, they are like built in, as you guys can see, so you will never lose them. Okay. Original price is $299, discount price is $249. Oh, marshmallow is ready, great. So, as I said guys, the, the temperature, okay, the temperature is right there, you can see it in technical details, and you also can see all the tech details right there, guys, 
where the cables are. Okay, this was PV120. The maximum input is 120 watts. And right now, let's talk about our other solar panels. Maybe you need a more powerful solar panels. So maybe you need our PV200 or PV350. So, okay. So these names, the numbers in the names, they actually stand for the maximum input, okay? So it's really easy to figure it out. So for example, for PV350, uh, the maximum input is 350 watts. The weight is 12.57 pounds. Um, the dimensions are 21, how, how do I say? I don't think it's dimensions for PV350 because PV350 is really big, okay? So uh, PV350, let me just show you how big it, I will not, I will not unfold it because it's really too big, guys. You saw me last time, you cannot even see me. <laughs> so here it is. PV350, uh, lamination is ETFE, cell efficiency is up to 23.4%. A max power voltage is 37.5 volts. Current and max power is 9.2 amps. Open circuit voltage VOC is 46.5 volts. And um, open circuit circuit is um, 10.8 amps. Operating temperature is 14 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit and the best temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. It has four, uh, four panels there, so like four numbers, four. If I unfold it right now, you will see four panels like this. Okay, um, the weight, yeah, this are the correct, so the weight is 30.6 pounds. Okay, so dimensions uh, unfolded, we have 94.4 inches by 35.6 inches and folded, like right now it's 35.6 inches by 24.1 inches and the height is 2.5 inches. You have a two year warranty for those, okay? So this thing will help you set the perfect angle. You have to place it the other way around and you also set the perfect angle. And please guys remember that all of the codes are valid only during the live stream, okay? I want to really stress it. Uh, you see those links? on Facebook or on YouTube or on both, those are the same links, Where, wherever you are on Facebook or on YouTube, please click on those latest links. Those are discounts, guys, okay? Make sure that you are quick because discounts are only valid during the live stream, okay? So regardless of what you want to purchase, either our P120, PV200 or PV350, solar panels or maybe our EB3A portable power station, okay, like right here, or EB70S portable power station like right here. The best time to purchase is right now, guys. So make sure that you click this link in the comment section on YouTube or on Facebook, okay? And also follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on TikTok, all right? So let's, let me place the 350 on the floor again. It's quite big, right? And what have we been talking about today? You guys remember EB3A, super compact, super lightweight. It's only 10.14 pounds in weight, and yet it's really powerful. 600 watts of um, AC uh, pure sine wave inverter and um, 268 watts hour of capacity. Lithium iron phosphate battery, 2,500 plus life cycles, nine outputs, eco-friendly, gas-free, quiet, cost-effective, three ways to recharge. The maximum solar input is 200 watts. The maximum AC input is 350 watts. And the maximum solar plus AC input under turbo mode, you can control through the app. Yes, we have the app, Bluetooth app for it, free app, is 430 watts. The best price ever, original price is $249. Discount price is $209. Guys, please use this opportunity. The link is in the comment section. Click on that link right now and save a lot of money, okay? This was EB3A. Bigger than that is uh, EB70S. So EB70S is bigger and it also offers bigger capacity and the higher wattage, you know, but it's, you know, it, it's a trade-off for the size and for the weight. So EB70S, guys. You can also get the best price ever right now, and the best price is in the link. Uh, the link is in the comment section on Facebook and on YouTube. Please click on that link. The official will uh, will send or already have sent this link right now. 
So please click there. So this is EB70S, and you can also choose a favorite color for EB70S, by the way. So there we go. We also talked about some bigger portable power stations. You guys remember AC200 Max and um, a B230. So for EB70S, it's 800 watts AC, pure sine wave inverter. It's 716 watts hour massive capacity, and it's lithium iron phosphate battery again. And uh, just, you know, it offers you wireless charging here on the top and it offers you outputs for all your devices, either DC or AC. We also talked about some bigger portable power stations. So for Blady AC 200 Max, you guys remember, modular solar generator, 2200 watts of AC pure sine wave inverter, 4800 watts surge, 2048 watts hour capacity, lithium iron phosphate battery and with 3500 plus life cycles. Original price is $1,899. Discount price is $1,799. It's expendable with uh, two B-130s, with one B-130, with, with two B-130s, with one B-300, or with two B-300s. And the capacity can reach uh, 8,192 watts hour. There's seven ways to recharge it, uh, like AC, solar, car, generator, AC, uh, and solar dual AC and lead battery. The maximum solar input is 900 watts and the maximum fast dual charging is 1,300 watts. It's, it has a smart control and it also has, I'm talking about A700 Max by the way, I'm not talking about EB70S. Um, A700 is just, it's just big and heavy and it's there so I'm not gonna put it here on the desk again. Okay, uh, but I'm talking about A700 Max. So yeah, it has the smart control and it has the app control and it has an awesome price right now, guys. So please make sure that you use the link in the comments. It's only $1,799 right now. We also talked about our solar panels, PV120, okay? PV120 is here, it's really small, easy to carry around, okay? So PV120, guys, also has its special price right now that only is available during the live stream and the price is only $249 compared to $299, which is the original price. And you guys remember, we also talked about B230 expansion battery that also has its own, uh, the most favorable price only right now during the live stream. Okay, and we also talked about our PV350 uh, battery. PV350 battery is, um, has a special price too, so $849 becomes only $799. And we also talked about PV200 solar panel. It looks very similar to PV120. The difference is that it's a little bit bigger and also the, massive uh, the maximum input is 200 watts as opposed to 120 watts. So for PV200, uh, the original price is $499 and the current price is $499. $29. Guys, please use all the discounts right now as we only have three minutes before the end of our live stream and our discounts are only valid during the live stream. Congratulations to those guys who already have purchased their portable power stations, they are solar panels or any other things from our website, bladypower.com. You guys are very lucky and very smart. Here are all the discounts, guys, as you can see. Let's take a look here and here, guys, we're folding with the discounts right now. It's crazy how many discounts we have. And I would love to stress that for EB3A, we have the lowest price in the history of the lowest prices ever. So I want you guys to make sure that you are aware of this, okay? I'm not pushing you to purchase, but at least you have to be aware right now is the lowest price ever. And you make your own decision. You can see the original price and discounted price right now. You can also see the discounted code if we have those. If we don't have discount code, that means that the link is in the comments section. So please click on that link in the comment section on Facebook or on YouTube. Also, make sure you follow us on here, on Facebook, on YouTube, our Instagram, and our Twitter. Our Instagram is bladdy underscore official. Our Facebook is bladdy global. And our Twitter is bladdy. Our YouTube, bladdy support and bladdy official and our TikTok. So follow us guys wherever you are, wherever you are. And also if you're from another country, not from the USA, it's totally fine for Canada, for Mexico, for any other country, please visit our website, bladdypower.com. 
regardless of where you live. Maybe you live in Japan, maybe you live in Europe, maybe you live in South America. It's, you can still purchase our uh, products, not all of them, unfortunately, but please visit our website, bladypower.com, okay? Also, congratulations to all of our winners of our giveaways. Again, just have to be very active in the comments to get our giveaway. Congratulations to those guys who won our caps, our K2 power banks, and our shirts. And we only have one minute before the end of our last one, guys, so please make sure that you use those discounts that you can see right now. Uh, you can see original price and discount price right here on the screen, okay? And click the link in the comments to use those discounts right now. Otherwise, they're gonna be gone just in a second, guys, when we finish our live stream. Make sure you give this live stream a like, okay? Thank you, because it's really important for YouTube and Facebook algorithms. So I really appreciate your like, it really matters. Make sure you just share this live stream in a group of friends, with a group of friends or with a friend. It's also very important, thank you so much. And make sure you actually follow us, regardless of where you are, on Facebook or on YouTube, okay? Make sure you actually follow us. Please use discounts, the, uh, in the link, links are in the comments section. Please use the links in the comments section or use the codes, if you can see the codes, like live EB70S, for example, on the screen. Use it on our website, bloodypower.com. Guys, visit our website, visit our TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channels. We also have support, YouTube support, uh, Bloody support channel, so on YouTube, so please, if you have any uh, questions or any concerns, you can also visit our Bloody Support channel on YouTube. And you can download our app for free, Bloody. It's called Bloody. For many portable power stations, you can use our app with them. Okay, use the discounts right now, guys. Again, congrats to all those guys who purchased their portable power stations today. Uh, keep in touch, visit our Instagram, and most importantly, use the discounts right now. Discounts are here, they're gonna be gone in a second when we finish our last one, guys. Discounts here. And here, use the link in the comment section. Use the links in the comment section. Our winners who won our giveaways, please contact Avalon at bloody.com. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Time's up. Have a great night. And our next lesson is going to be on July the 26th, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. July the 26th, 7 p.m.